Hi, my name is Shea Phelan. I'm the potato specialist here in Oak Park, uh, and I my role here is to, to, to show farmers and, and agronomists how to grow potatoes. So one of the first things that farmers have to decide when they're going to grow potatoes is what type of a crop they want to grow. So the decision here is to whether you grow something like a red variety here in terms of the rooster that we, we're celebrating here today, or whether you grow a white variety, which is common in supermarkets as well. On top of that, you can also grow other varieties that are going to feed into the fresh chip market, which every chipper in the country will use, or you have something like maybe something to go for a crisp uh, in, in terms of whether it be a brand of crisp like Tato or some of those. You also have the opportunity to grow something like a home guard, which is an early variety, which is a very short season variety, which you tend to source early in the season and you harvest early in the season. And they tend to be the first varieties that we, that we, that we eat every year. One of the major concerns that farmers have when they're growing potatoes is the rotation. So obviously we cannot grow potatoes after potatoes after potatoes because we get a build up of disease. So we have to rotate crops around in something like this. We follow in from a potato crop with a cereal crop, another cereal crop, a break crop like a, an oilseed rape or beans, and then we come back to them with another cereal and then back into the potatoes. So we tend to grow potatoes one year out of every four to five or maybe six years. Other issues then that farmers have to consult then are things like soil fertility, the distance from the yard, if it's going to be very far, long distance we don't want going big, big bulky crops, the length of the season, how long that season is going to be, whether we have irrigation or not in a year like 2018 where rainfall was very very scarce, irrigation was very important and also the area and location. In terms of growing the crop then, we start off here with seed tubers like these here, uh, these ones here you can see little sprouts so they're ready to go into the soil. We then in April or May for the main crop varieties we, we cultivate the soil and we try and get as good a seed bed as we possibly can for, for the crop. After that then in, in April or May we, tend to, we sow them here and we have a fertilizer applicator here and we also have a seed hopper on the back so we sow or plant our potatoes at about 30 to 35,000 tubers per hectare, that's about three to three and a half tubers per square meter. After that then, after about 20 to 30 days, the crop starts to emerge and we've applied a herbicide at this stage to try and stop all the weeds from competing with the crop. After that, we have tuber initiation here where the tubers are starting to form on the tops of the, on the roots here. You can just see those little lumps here, they're the new tubers starting to form. That takes about 20 days after emergence. From there to flowering, when the crop starts to flower, is about another 40 days. So the crop at this stage now is flowering those flowers will be fertilised and the crop starts bulking then so the crop starts to, to, to fill up. From, about, from flowering then we're looking at about probably about 40 days to where the crop is here where you can see the tops have been taken off here, they've been flailed or cut in this situation here to take all the, all the growth out of the crop and it stops the crop from bulking anymore. After that then we leave the crop for about 21 days for the skins on the tubers to set and when the skins on the tubers set then they're fit to be harvested and then we get harvest them into, into store and they're ready to go in bags like that. So to summarise all the boards, first of all we have to plan what we want to sow, we have to plan what crops and varieties we need to sow, when we have that decided then we have to follow this path all the way through, plan that all the way through from the start of the season to the end of the season to end up with a product that's saleable here on the shelf.